Hello, Clint Daniels here, Indian Trail Middle School. Uh, when I was asked to come speak to the uh, group of teachers here at MNU about uh, living out Christ in the classroom, I truly thought it would only be right for me to to seek the advice of other students, other teachers here at our school that are uh, are on board with that. And uh, I thought we'd make a little movie about that. So let's go ahead and watch it. So the first thing I see every morning is a little taped reminder, don't forget to pray. Uh, right below my desk always grounds me and helps me focus exactly what I need to do. Another thing you'll realize as you look around my desk, uh, I do have scripture to help uh, just keep me focused on Christ throughout the day. And I, I do look at it, I read it, and uh, it does help me a lot. Uh, up on my wall, I do have my life verse up there, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Just a constant reminder that I just need to be content no matter what the circumstance, uh, as long as Jesus' Spirit is inside me. All right, hey, Bethany Rexroth, former graduate of MNU, you're kind of a big thing. <laughs> uh, hey, when, when students anger you in the classroom, how do you, how do you deal with that? Well, when a student says or does something that isn't just slightly disrespectful or against class rules, but that really immediately makes me furious, I try very hard, if, it, if no other student's in physical danger, to not address it right then, because I know things will come out of my mouth that are not Christ-like. So if I can, if the lesson allows, um, I'll come sit at my desk for 20 seconds, maybe, and just pray. And if I have a little bit of time, and if I've communicated with the Lord, um, you never let the behavior go. Uh, you have to address it. But once I've calmed down, I'm able to discipline that kid in a Christ-like manner. And I really think those kids notice a difference. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. When a teacher is really bold about their faith, it's going to help us students be very bold about our faith. Oh, this is Dr. Tim Murray. He is a social studies teacher here at Indian Trail Middle School, 6th grade. Uh, Dr. Murray, how, how do you live out Christ in the classroom from a social studies perspective? I'm real fortunate in that in our um, content area for sixth grade, we do teach the world religions. Um, and as a Christian, the advantage um, it gives me is that I can present our faith um, more accurately than maybe what the textbook does. Um, I, can... I feel like I can trust a teacher more when I know that they're a Christian and I can believe more of what they're saying. We have Jennifer Cawthorn, and uh, she is a math teacher at Indian Trail Middle School. Uh, what do you see as being a benefit of being a Christian teacher and uh, entering this profession? Well, welcome to a um, profession that just really involves every aspect of your life. There's no better profession for really truly to be a servant to others. Um, take the time to get to know each of your students and serve them as Christ would, no matter how Frustrating it may be sometimes, try to see the good in every kid and act as Jesus would. I come late into FCA every morning because I ride the bus and I still love Jesus so much that I go to FCA. And I'm like him, standing up from God, for God. All right, so this is Pam Mara. She is a, uh, a reading, reading uh, Read 180 teacher here at Indian Trail. Uh, what do you have to say to these Christian teachers, Pam? Well, uh, first of all, when you get to your position and you get a hire, which is an exciting day, uh, I would, as soon as possible, seek out fellow Christian teachers. We have a wonderful uh, place here where we meet uh, regularly on Friday mornings and we pray, we share uh, concerns both with our students, maybe with staff, and even personally. So then when you meet those people in the halls and you know they've been lifting up in prayer, well, there's just great support in that. and. Prayer is, uh, makes a difference, and so it's not just an activity, but it's an awesome difference maker in our lives as teachers. Uh, All right, hey, we got two FCA students here. We have uh, Ray Wilson on the left, and that's Jack Sullivan on the right. Hey guys, why, why would you respect a teacher to be bold in their Christian faith? Uh, Ray, let's go you first. I would respect a teacher that's bold in their faith because it brings me closer to them and I can trust them more and it brings me closer to God. Cool. Hey, uh, Jack, what about you? Why would you respect a teacher to be bold in their faith? I would, because uh, it would probably bring it, me closer to my family, friends, and maybe that teacher and what Ray said, God. Very good. Hey, thank you guys so much. And then also I wanted to say that as a Christian in my classroom, Christ's principles, his teachings are uh, 
exactly the way we need to be as teachers. And so a lot of times I find myself quoting scripture in, in a backdoor way without saying where it came from, but things that I teach are the very things that Christ taught. So uh, Him living through me uh, helps enables me to be more effective. And for example, this week we had a life, ver a life uh, quote that we do one every week, and it was attitude determines altitude. And that is strictly, you know, also comes right out of scripture as well. Who, whoever you are in your heart, that's who you're going to be. And so there's just a lot of opportunity to be uh, light and salt in your classroom as a Christian teacher as well. Thank you so much. Just be you. Go. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve others and to give his life as a ransom for many. Be bold. Be you. Be a Christian teacher. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus, so we can do the good things He planned for us long ago. Don't be ashamed of your faith. For I'm not ashamed of this good news about Christ. It's the power of God at work, saving everyone who believes from the Jew first and also the Gentile. Hey, be unashamed, be a Christian teacher.